Hey, what's up guys, Paco Brooks here. Today I'm going to be doing part one of my minifigure showcase for The Mandalorian Season 2. So, over the coming months, I'm going to be making some custom Lego figures. As you can see in front of me, here are the beginnings of them. So, going from left to right, I'll be making a Dark Trooper. This is my prototype version so far, which looks a bit odd, I've got to say. But, I'm making progress. So you can see I've built it up a bit, made the extended legs there with an extra stud tooler. I think I've got the height right. The helmet is just a placeholder for the moment with a Death Trooper helmet. Once I get the airborne helmets in from Aerolite, they should work perfectly for the Dark Trooper. Then I've got Boba Fett, and I'm going to do him in his repainted armor towards the end of Season 2. So here I've got the WM Blocks helmet and also a chest piece. The other bits are just placeholders at the moment, like the waist cape and the belt, which I'll probably sculpt on the belt myself, do a little like electrical tape thing across the front. Then I've still got to find out about the boots, because I can't find any good reference images of them. Next we've got Mando. I know, he's got a pre Vizsla helmet, but that was the best helmet I've found so far for the price that I like the look of, which was the pre Vizsla one, also by WM Blocks. They do great minifigures, actually. In my opinion, they do the best non-LEGO minifigures. So I'll be using that and also a jetpack in grey. The base body is just a LEGO, I think it's dark brown torso and legs. Which I'll be building off of, doing the same chest piece type thing like this. Probably sculpt on the chest piece for him because it's slightly different to Boba Fett's one. And yeah, I want to make it as accurate as I can. Here we have Ahsoka from Season 2 also. And this is probably going to be the most difficult one because of all the capes and stuff. I can't find many good reference images for that. So I'll probably have to wait till MGF Customs does his and then just go off of that to make mine. Here we have Bo Katan. That is not the helmet I'm using. That is a knockoff helmet that I've got at the moment. I'll probably use the, I think it was Area Light or Clone Army Customs. One or the other, I'll use that helmet because. I don't think I have the painting ability to do those symbols there, so yeah. Also going to get the van braces and the jetpack for that minifigure. The torso and the legs are the only thing I'm going to be doing for this minifigure because it's just going to take ages doing all that paint work and all the detail on that. And the far right we got Moff Gideon. Got a dark saber for him already. The headpiece, the hairpiece, sorry, is a placeholder for the moment until I get another one in, which is a real Lego one. That is one that came with the knockoff figure video that was a while back. So yeah, go check that video out if you haven't already. I showcased some cool Mandalorian figures there. The cape is also by WM Blocks, which was from the knockoff figure. Again, I just really like the cape on this figure. So I'm going to be keeping that. And then the rest is just Lego. Like I said, all the bodies of these are all Lego. And so are the legs and the heads. It's just the top head pieces that aren't Lego at the moment. They'll either be custom or Lego at this point, because I want to keep it as purest as possible. As funny as that sound, purest, even though I am gluing stuff to it and putting other accessories, I want to keep it all Lego for just because it's just better quality than some of the knockoff stuff, and it's easier to work with in my opinion. Anyway, that's going to be it for part one of my Mandalorian minifigure making, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to title it yet, but... Yeah, I'll update you next week or whenever I do some more progress. That's going to be it for this video. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.